Hello everyone and welcome back to Jaglit Educational Channel. So this is the part 19 for the rapid revision for the environmental science entrances. I hope you have watched all the previous part. If you haven't watched, you can watch the link given in the i button as well as in the description below. So you can also join our telegram group for the regular quizzes. Learn for the environment is the name of the group. This link will be also provided in the description. So without much delay, let's get started. So before starting the video, let me tell you that more than 500 questions and important frequently asked questions are discussed in this playlist for mega revision. You must watch this and yes, be ready with the pen and paper so that you can note down all the important points which we are going to discuss in this video. So the questions are on your screen. Let me read the first question. The first question is prevalence of arsenic in groundwater in states of West Bengal and Bihar is mainly because of which of the following reasons. So I'll wait for certain seconds then I will move on to the next question. So here all of the above will be the correct option because specific geochemical condition which is available present in the West Bengal and Bihar is the reason for the prevalence of arsenic in the groundwater. Also when the dissolution of arsenic takes place from the iron oxide, it increases its concentration in the groundwater. Same thing is that presence of reducing condition. Yes, when the reducing condition is there, not oxidizing condition, then this arsenic will be formed in more concentration and it will concentrate in the groundwater. So these all three options will be the major reason for the arsenic in the groundwater. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is, Identify the false statements regarding the recharge trench rainwater harvesting technique. So for some of you it will be the new term recharge trench rainwater harvesting technique and this is asking which is the false statement. So before knowing the false statements let us know what are the true statements regarding this kind of water harvesting system. So what are true about the recharge trench rainwater harvesting technique. It is provided where the upper impervious layer of soil is shallow. This you should note down when the upper layer of the soil is shallow, this technique of rainwater harvesting is implemented. Next thing which is correct about this technique is that bore wells can also be provided inside the trench as the recharge shafts to enhance percolation. So to enhance the percolation, bore wells can also be provided inside the trench region of this recharge trench rainwater harvesting technique. No need to go deep about this, just remember these points. Third point which is correct is the length of the trench is decided as per the amount of runoff expected. Yes, rainwater runoff expected runoff will be deciding the amount or the length of the trench which is required for this method. And this method is suitable, this is the most important point for small houses, playgrounds, parks and roadside drains. So these are the suitable areas for this kind of harvesting technique and false statement was given in the option B. So this is false but we will know what will be the correct option if it would have been given. So here in this technique usually the dimension that is the dimension of the pit may be of 0.5 meter of width and the deep the depth will be 1 to 1.5 meter not 2 to 3 meter it will be 1 to 1.5 meter deep and 0 0.5 meter in the width depending on the depth of the pervious strata so this was all about the recharge trains rainwater harvesting technique coming to the next question next question is the contribution of various human activities in the biological resource extinction is what so you have to select which is the major source for the contribution for the biological resource extinction and in the decreasing order. So here the correct option will be option number B. Yes, the first important the main contributor for the resource extinction is habitat alteration. Yes, when the human activities are altering the habitats of flora and fauna, they are causing the extinction at the highest rate, followed by the hunting then the followed by introduction of exotic species and the least one is the pollution. So pollution will be in the last. If you know that, you will not select these three options and simply you will go and hit the first option. That is habitat alteration is the major contributor. Let's move to the next question. The next question is organism facing extremely high risk of extinction 
in the wild in the near future are considered to be what kind of organism so this is talking about the iucn categories the correct option will be what the correct option will be option number a critically endangered species are having the high risk of extinction in the near future let's move to the next question the next question is the highest incidence of goiter in up bihar and maharashtra can be explained by which of the following reasons so goiter due to the deficiency of iodine so here also all of the above will be the major reason that means first is non acceptance of the benefit of iodized salt by the people so that is because of the negligence of these people in these states next is quality control at the production site was inadequate so it is inadequate quality control at the production site and the next thing is iodine is lost during the transport and storage so this thing also is very very interesting because during transport and storage the iodine content is lost in the salt so all the above are the major reason for the incidence of goiter in up bihar and maharashtra let's move to the next set of questions so the next question is choose the right expansion of sites of 1975 i think everybody will be able to answer this this question came in 2007 net examination and after that also several time it has been asked so here the correct option will be option number c yes the full form is convention on international trade in endangered species of wild fauna and flora sometimes it will be given as flora and fauna so be attentive it will be first fauna then the flora coming to the next side next question next question is to conserve the coral reefs government of india declared one of the following as marine national park so it is specifically for the conservation of coral reefs and here are the options so here the correct option will be gulf of mannar is having the marine national park for the conservation of coral reefs so gulf of mannar next question is ecological restoration of degraded sites are aimed to do what this is also one of the frequent asked question so here the correct option will be option number b ecological restoration of degraded sites aims to restore the social desirable and economically feasible characteristic of the original ecosystem so here you should not get confused by this first option so option b will be the correct option let's move to the next question which is an assertion and reasoning kind of question no need to worry very easy question assertion statement states wetlands are often described as ecotones and the reason states wetlands are biologically rich dynamic zones of the transition between two different ecosystem so what will be the correct option so here the correct option will be option number a that both these two statements are correct and the reason is the correct explanation of the assertion statement so now comes your work you have to comment that which two ecosystems are forming this ecotone zone that is the wetlands so kon dono इकोसिस्टम मिलके इकोटोन बनाते हैं जिसे कि वेटलैंड कहते हैं लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस। सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ट्रेटोस्फेरिक ओजोन डिप्लीसन ऑकर्स एट द एल्टीट्यूड ऑफ व्हाट किलोमीटर सो दिस इज टेलिंग अबाउट अबव द अर्थ ग्राउंड लेवल एट व्हाट लेवल द स्ट्रेटोस्फेरिक ओजोन डिप्लीसन ऑकर्स सो हियर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन बी ऑप्शन नंबर सी अब ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी किलोमीटर जोन the stratospheric ozone depletion takes place it will be actually 15 to 35 km you should remember so this region comes in between 25 to 35 so this is the most appropriate option let's move on to the next question the next question is the most detrimental effect of deforestation is what so let me tell you all are the effects of the deforestation but it is asking the most so you have to select the most detrimental effect so here the most or the primary effect of the deforestation is soil erosion so soil will be eroded if you are going on doing the deforestation then it will eventually lead to rainfall decrease loss in biodiversity increase in the surface temperature let's move to the next question next question is assertion and reasoning be attentive while reading this type of questions i hope you are noting down all this so the assertion statement states chlorofluorocarbons deplete ozone and reason states 
This compound contains chlorine, bromine and fluorine. So here the correct option will be option number C. Yes, assertion statement is absolutely correct. CFC deplete ozone. But CFC they don't contain bromine in that. They will contain chlorine. They will contain fluorine. They will contain the carbon. But if it is bromine then they are present in the halon. So you should note down halons are having bromine. But here as it was asking talking about chlorofluorocarbons. So bromine will not come inside. So these are simple things you should analyze. Coming to the next question, the next question is which one of the following is the region in the ocean where rate of dissolution of carbonate balances the rate of its accumulation. So this is also very frequent last question. So here the correct option will be this stage will be called as the carbonate compensation depth stage where rate of dissolution of carbonate ion balances the rate of its formation. Don't get confused with the carbon. So don't need to worry and hit the wrong option. Read properly and hit the carbonate option. Let's move on to the next set of questions. So the next question is arsenic problem in India is primarily due to what? So options are on your screen. Read it attentively. So here among the four options, the correct option will be option number C over exploitation of groundwater in the affected areas. But this option will be confusing that is over exploitation of coal in Bihar and Bengal. This is the reason for the arsenic problem in Bihar and Bengal mostly specifically. But this is asking about whole India. So whole India it will be over exploitation of groundwater. If they will ask where are the regions where the arsenic problem is maximum in India then it will be Bihar and Bengal region because of the over exploitation of coal. I hope it is understandable. Let's move on to the next question. Next question is a gas causing global warming should absorb radiation in which of the following wavelength range. So this is talking about the greenhouse gases. And here the correct option will be option number D. The gas should absorb the radiation greater than 0 0.7 micrometer then only it will be called as the greenhouse gases. So it is actually the range for the infrared radiation. So IR is greater than 0 0.7 micrometer. That's why that will be the correct option. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is fluoride compound is present in which of the following and options are hairs of man, enamel of teeth of man, cell wall of fungi, cell wall of green algae. So here the correct option will be option will be enamel of teeth of man is having the fluoride compound and you should also note down that bones are also composed of the fluoride and yes in the toothpaste we add the fluoride to do what to fight against the decay so you should note down coming to the next question the next question is destruction of ozone is caused by what so this is conceptual question and here the correct option will be only CFC. So here methane, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, they will not come because we will know what are the important gases which are harmful for destroying the ozone. So here are the ozone depleting substances destroying the ozone layer. These are chlorofluorocarbons, halons, carbon tetrachloride, methyl chloroform, hydrobromofluorocarbons, hydrochlorofluorocarbons, CH3Br that is methyl bromide and bromochloromethane. So these are important. You should note down all these things. And one thing I would like to tell that one kilogram of halon 1 to 1 1 can destroy 50 tons of ozone. So for your knowledge, I am telling this, these halons are very, very devastating in nature to destroy the ozone. So let's move on to the next set of questions. So here comes the assertion and reasoning question again. The question is climate change is going to increase the social tensions in India assertion states and reason states the frequency and intensity of the extreme weather extreme weather events will have serious consequences for food security. So here I will tell you a hint that if this assertion and reasoning is given you have to add this with the word that is because. So here climate change is going to increase social tension in India because the frequency and intensity of the extreme weather events 
will have serious consequences for food security so food security if it is affected it will be having bad impact on the society and similarly it will increase the social tension in india so from society social tension will increase if the food security is affected so here option one will be correct both are correct with the reason correct explanation of a let's move to the next question the next question is coming up from the snow blindness yes Blindness, snow blindness is caused due to which of the following? So if you can guess this also, you can be able to correctly answer this. Yes, UV radiations are causing the snow blindness. Coming to the next question. Next question from CBD that is Convention on Biological Diversity is a commitment for what? So here very easy it is a commitment to conserve and sustainable utilization of biodiversity and equitable sharing of benefits from the biodiversity so i'll tell you a tip that if the option is too longer or lengthy the longest one is mostly the correct option so this is from my small experience i'm telling mostly the longest one will be the correct option so here you will know about the cbd also so this cbd was opened for signature in the year 1992 you should note down convention on biological diversity where it was opened for sign it was opened for signature in the rio summit in 1992 let's move on to the next question the next question is the largest soil group in india is of which kind of soil red soil black soil sandy soil or mountain soil so here the correct option will be black soil yes if in the option it would have given alluvial soil then you have to select that option but here it is not given so here correct option will be black soil the largest soil group in india so i hope you have noted down all these things you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe the channel to get all further updates keep smiling believe in yourself see you guys in our next video